Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyne and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the iPad Pro with the brand new M2 chip. And this is going to be an unboxing of the iPad Pro 11 inch fourth generation with Wi-Fi. And this is going to be the 256 gigabyte version. I'm very excited about this because this is basically the most powerful tablet that you can buy. And it's certainly the most powerful in the Apple iPad lineup at the moment. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So today we're going to be doing a basic unboxing and one of the first things I'll notice is that there isn't any plastic wrapping around this box like I normally have with Apple products. This is a bit more eco-friendly, everything feels a bit more papery and probably more recyclable. So I'm going to undo these tabs and that's allowed us to open up this box. I'm just going to slide this open and then we have our tablet. So I'm just going to pull this out. We have a kind of more papery kind of film than I'm used to on Apple products. Let's pull this back. And now we have the tablet like so. So basically here we've got our USB-C port at the bottom here with the speaker grills. We've got our Apple Pencil magnetic attachment here. We've got our volume buttons and we've got the speaker grills here as well. And also at the back we have our iPad Pro camera array here, which is a little bit better than the one that I had in the past. So now I'm just gonna put this to the side to show you what the rest of the box looks like. We have our documentation and manual here. So just show you that quickly. We have our iPad Pro instruction manual with a little bit of information about Face ID, Apple Pencil, Tap to Wake, etc. Control Center. And then here we've got a few Apple stickers and then some warranty information. Then in terms of a charger, I'm just gonna unwrap this. So we have the standard UK charger. So if you look at the small print, you can see that it's basically a USB power delivery charger. So this is gonna work great for our iPad. Here we've got a kind of braided cable USB-C charger. And uh, we can see that this is not particularly long, but it is braided, feels like a good quality charger. Feels like um, a slightly stronger material than the ones you get on the MagSafe chargers for the MacBook. So I'm just gonna plug this in, put in the charger, and then I'm gonna turn on the iPad. So this is now turning on for the first time. So here it's saying hello, we're at 90% charge, we're gonna swipe up, and then just do our basic setup of an iPad. Now it's just gonna activate. So what's nice is that we have Face ID for the first time. I'm gonna add this now, set this up, blah, blah, blah. Do this again to set up Face ID. Let's continue, and then I'm gonna enter my passcode. I'm gonna set this up as a brand new iPad. So now we've got the iPad all set up, what we're gonna do is go to settings and show you what the operating system version we're on. This is 16.0, where at the time recording, 16.1 has just released. So I'm definitely gonna do an update on this very soon. So I'm just gonna show you what the camera's like quickly. We have these two camera arrays here. This is the first time I've used an iPad with two different cameras. And uh, what we've got is a one-time zoom, and we can also go to the widescreen angle as well. We can see a lot more of the field of view there. So that's quite cool to have. So just gonna do a very quick comparison between the iPad Pro 2022 and the iPad Pro 2018. So this is meant to be an 11 inch model, and this is a 10.5 inch model. But in terms of size, they operate on a pretty much a very similar footprint. If I put this on top here, you can basically see they are almost identical in size. If I put them side by side, you can see that the older iPad has more of a thinner tapered edge, and this one is very slightly thicker. I would say that it barely makes a difference, although this does feel a little bit lighter. However, it's nice to have the high quality screen. So the initial benchmark results of this are very impressive. We have a single core score of 1,876 and a multi-core score of 8,482. So it's definitely on the top end of iOS mobile devices. So I'm gonna be doing more testing on this in the future. If you wanted me to test out any games and emulation, I'll be doing a future video about that. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.